hasn't worked in several years. And this all started once I added grease and I really would like to get it working. What I have a hunch is that we've hydro locked the shaft and the bearing with grease. Hydro locking is exactly what it sounds like. It's when liquid enters a space and prevents anything from moving. In this case, the shaft relies on the bearings to spin freely and grease is used to reduce friction. But Jason suspects that when he added more grease on top of what was already there, it packed the bearing too tightly, effectively locking it in place. Now, he and Wyatt need to figure out how to free it up while removing as few parts as possible. I think the first thing we're gonna have to do is just let's get the wheel off and see what's behind it and maybe it's an easy fix. All right, let's tear into it. And after they loosened a few screws. Well, he man put this one on. They uncovered the sheer mass of what they were working with. This wheel is very heavy. How many inches is that thing? I think it's 30. Right on the money, 30 inches, I remembered. So we're gonna need to figure out a way to hold it. I think we're gonna use a C-clamp here, grip it, choke it with a forklift, and get it off there. So you get the clamps, I'll get the forklift. So they carefully removed the giant wheel, making sure it didn't fall on their feet. Uh, that's what steel toe boots are for, right? How much does it weigh? Any guesses? I'm gonna say 210 pounds. I think this weighs 200 and 75 pounds. Was this over under? Are we playing prices right rules? Ooh, dang it. 231 pounds. All right, pretty good guess, Wyatt. With this giant toe crusher finally removed, the boys kept taking this old machine apart to finally see what's been causing the issue. The grease is so old, it's basically solidified in between the rollers. Probably the original grease in there. Solid 75 year old grease and that last pump of grease that I put in there just sealed it off. So let's warm it up a little bit and see if we can get the grease to liquefy. If Jason is correct, when he heats up this bearing, like the wax of a hot candle, the grease should drip out and open up some space. The smell of a cutting torch and grease in the morning. It reminds me of working at the steel mill. Yep. Okay, let's see what happens. Look at that, keep going. With Jason's hunch proving to be right, they're still not out of the woods yet. They have to go further into this grinder to get all of the old grease out so that it doesn't re-harden when it cools. But when they started inspecting how to do that, their plan quickly derailed. Yeah, all three of them are a blind hole, Jason. Of course they are.